These are the TIE 6L 4V sheets for the CH53K beams. Check the serial codes here. Easy now, bring it down five centimeters. Steady, steady. All right, clear to lock. The routing ID is Kilo 45. All right, Kilo 45 goes directly to the stress fixture, bay three. Make sure it's secured. Module 53 Kilo, approaching grid position four. Copy that, alignment is good, proceed with set down. Check the alignment on station four. Looks good with intolerance. Aligning with the mount points. Steady, steady. Check the specs on the screen. We need 0 0.0002. It's holding steady at 0 Aligning starboard side. Looks good, keep it coming slowly. Clear on the port side. Advance. Confirm. 
confirm clear path on the extraction lane. Clear to advance the jig. Check your clearance on the lower pins. Lower pins are clear. Engaging hydraulics now. Panel is aligned, ready for torque sequence. Copy that. Starting clamp one. Ensure the alignment is perfect before we lock the jig. Roger that. Ready for riveting on your mark. Bring it down another two inches, slow and steady. Copy that, we're clear on the starboard side. Hold it there, we have alignment. We are three millimeters off on the forward jig. Adjust slowly to the left. Copy that, easing left now, we are aligned. Steady descent, watch your clearance on the left. Confirmed, mark the alignment pins. now, coming down another two inches. Watch the alignment pin on the left. Okay, hold it there. Check the alignment on sector four. Looks good, clearance is nominal. Start the torque sequence. Needs to shift slightly to the left, right there. Okay, hold it steady while I secure this side. Laser's green across the board. Locked in. Start the torque procedure on section four. Bring it down slowly, steady as she goes. Copy that, watching the stabilization arms. Looking good. Final connection, position four. Hitting the torque limit now. Reading green on the diagnostic, alignment is perfect.
Set the torque to 25 foot-pounds. Confirming 25. Three clicks heard. The audio is characterized by the sounds of industrial precision, the metallic clicks and clanks of specialized tools. Aligning the module to port four. Verified, apply torque to spec KL45-F25. Steady now, watch the clearance on channel four. Got it, it's sliding smoothly. Bring it down another few millimeters. Steady, steady, holes aligned. Okay, pass the torque wrench. Torque is good on the forward bolts. Confirmed, we are seated and locked. Data synchronization complete. Alignment is good on the multi-point rig. Roger that, engaging torque sequence now. Sequence complete, green light across the board, boss. Easy now, just a few more inches to the left. Looks aligned on this side, send it down. Roger that. All right, slowly raise it up, just a few more inches. Hold it there, looks aligned on this side. Confirm, bring the pin forward. Final torque applied to the suppressor housing. Confirmed. All parameters are within tolerance. It's a little to the left. Okay, hold it there. Looks good, bring it down slowly. Okay, bring the pins forward. Pins engaging. Secure on this end. Check the alignment on this rail. Looks good. Pass me the torque wrench for the forward bolt. Holding pattern currently active. Proceed to docking clamp in bay four. Copy, bay four confirmed. Collar locked, we have a green light. Copy that. Initiating diagnostics now. Pressure holding steady at 5200. Confirmed, logging the cycle completion now. Input the sequence here. 
See that spike at 2,000 RPM? Yes, adjusting now, it's stable. We are seeing nominal torque approaching red line. Maintain current settings, cycling fuel flow. Swash plate actuation sweep is complete. Confirmed. Data logs show green across the board. The resonance peak at 40 hertz is still high. Yes, I'm seeing significant displacement on the trailing edge sensors. Load profile steady at 90%, all readings nominal. Good. Log the results and secure the panel. Pitch control check on station three. Acknowledge range looks good, confirming on the tablet. Hold that speed. We are approaching the pad. Prepare to stop on my signal. 